how to measure pump head, instruments required, and pump test setup. Suction line, suction pressure gauge, discharge line, and discharge pressure gauge. Let us now start with pump head basics. Suction head in a pump is the vertical distance between the pump's suction inlet and the surface of the liquid source being pumped. Discharge head refers to the pressure at the pump's outlet, expressed as the vertical height a pump can raise a liquid. The total head of a pump refers to the difference in head created by the pump between its discharge and suction sides. It represents the energy the pump adds to the fluid to overcome system resistance and move the fluid. Now the total differential head varies according to whether it is positive suction arrangement or negative suction arrangement as shown. Positive suction condition. Negative suction condition. For positive suction condition, suction liquid level is above pump center line. In a positive suction condition, the suction pressure head is positive, which means the pump is working with a static suction head. In this case, the pump benefits from gravity, so it requires less effort to lift the liquid. As a result, the total differential head is calculated as the discharge head minus the suction head. For negative suction condition, suction liquid level is below pump center line. In a negative suction condition, the suction liquid level lies below the pump center line, which makes the suction pressure head negative and is referred to as static suction lift. In this case, the pump has to overcome the suction lift along with the discharge head. Therefore, the total differential head is calculated as the discharge head minus the negative suction head, which is effectively the discharge head plus the suction lift. Now that we have understood the pump head basics, let's move on to the pump head checking procedure. The testing procedure shown is for a positive suction condition. Step 1. Measurement of shutoff head. The shutoff head of a centrifugal pump is the maximum head the pump can develop at zero flow rate. Let's understand how to measure this shutoff head. Start the pump and ensure that the suction valve is fully open. Observe and record the suction pressure from the pressure gauge. Next, close the delivery valve completely to 100% and maintain this position for 30 seconds only. Then, note the discharge pressure as indicated on the discharge pressure gauge. Calculate shutoff differential head equals discharge pressure minus suction pressure, that is 28 minus 5. Therefore, shutoff differential head is 28 meters. Compare and verify with shutoff head in pump data sheet provided by pump OEM. Step 2. Measurement of differential head at duty point condition of pump. Start by turning the pump on and ensuring that the suction valve is fully open to allow smooth flow into the system. Observe and record the suction pressure as indicated on the pressure gauge. Next, gradually open the delivery valve. Once the delivery valve is fully open at 100%, note and record the delivery pressure from the pressure gauge. Calculate total differential head at duty point. Total differential head equals discharge pressure minus suction pressure, that is 25 minus 5. Therefore, the differential head at duty point is 20 meters. Compare and verify with duty point in pump data sheet provided by pump OEM. If the readings taken at site match with the values in pump curves given in data sheet, or if there is deviation of only 5% as per the performance testing standard, then pump is working fine. Now you have understood how to measure pump head and also how to verify it against your pump data sheet provided by your OEM. If you are looking for pump performance testing, just as you witnessed in this video by VEMC experts, then get in touch with our team. 
And we shall do all this at our state-of-the-art APOEM unit at Taloja, Navi, Mumbai.